Hi guys, I'm back. And as you can see, we've got the same colors again, but we are going to do uh, mostly yellow in this one today. If I can reach a cup here. It's kind of buried. Okay, there we go. So we're going to do mostly yellow. And, but we will start with white. I don't have much white left, unfortunately. This one may end up having to go off of the edge of the canvas. Like I said, it's going to be mostly yellow, so we're just going to do yellows. Layers of yellows with this turquoise and green color. And uh, maybe a hint of white thrown in there. Just a hint. In hopes that it will come through. Oh, no, nope, yellow. This will be a lot of yellow. I know, I'm sorry my hand is in the way. It's hard when the cups get almost empty to keep your hands out of the way. I'm trying to just leave enough white so we have some white for the corners. About out of that pretty green there. Okay, I think that should be enough, most likely, for the whole painting there. Go ahead and pour a little more yellow in there. Just so we have some more. Okay, and then we're going to pour some yellow on these corners here again. I mean, some white on the corners here again. Because I like white on the corners. I have just enough, really, for these corners. Let's cover our corners there. Spread it apart. Move that out of the way before I dump it over and we end up having a spill painting instead of a tree ring sort of painting. Maybe we should try that one time. We just dump it and see what happens. Let the paint fall where it may. Okay. There's that edge. That edge. Everything's covered. All right, and let's see what we're going to get here. As I suspected, lots of green in there in the center. Interestingly enough, no white. The white mixed with that yellow. So now we have a very interesting creamy yellow in the middle there. I'm trying to get as much of my little drippy friend as I can. Kind of making him wonky this time. I'm making him trail off the one side. There we go. Okay, ooh, it's just pretty colors. Move this cup out of the way because I'm afraid I'm going to tip it over on another painting and I've got wet paintings sitting here, so we don't want to destroy the other paintings. Yeah, well, I like it better when we when we uh, torch after the fact because then the cells are a little smaller. I'm not really sure where to go with this one. Let's go off that side first because there's a lot of green there. I'd like to get rid of some of that. 
take it where the, there we go. We wanted the white to go off that side. Let's go get our little friend to go off this edge here. There we go. Whoops. Come on over. Let's go off of this side. There we go. And now off of the far side over here. Okay, but now we need to bring it back this way because it looks kind of wonky. We need to go off that way a little bit. Not quite, not quite, not quite. There we go. That's a little better. We need those fingers to come off a little bit. Put a little more interest. Okay. And that, as we say, is that. Yep. I'm going to leave it like that. I like it. Wish I had enough paint to do one more of these because I like these. I may just call it a series. But look at this pretty little cells that are coming up through there. Let's um portraits. There we go. And we will bring it down for a look. Oh, I like that one. And actually the colors are actually true to the colors that I'm seeing. Well, apparently my camera, my phone, likes the color yellow because this is actually coming out the right colors. You guys are actually seeing the colors that I'm seeing. Oh, look at the fingers right there. The little green swirlies around them. Those look cool. Does that not look kind of like a critter of some sort? Just pretty the way all the lines sort of interact and play with each other. And you can see there how, how really the yellow mixed with the white and just gave us a real pretty real pretty color combination. And we still have a little bit of that turquoise on the edge. That's nice. Wish we'd had it on all the edges. All right, guys, there is your pretty for today. I wish we had enough paint to do another one of these, but I don't think I can scrape out enough paint out of those cups, unfortunately. So we may just, I may just pour them on another little bitty canvas and if it comes out cute, I'll show it to you. If not, <laughs> you won't see it. All right. Um, and thank you for supporting my channel in whatever ways you do. Um, those of you who have been with me from the beginning or near the beginning um, and continue to uh, get in contact with me, send me emails, check on me and my family and, and tell me about your families. I love to hear all that um, and I really appreciate it. Um, you guys know who you are. Um, so yeah, you guys are, are, are quite dear to me. So thank you very much for, for being supportive in, in the ways that you are. And um, Check out the Gin Crafts paints. Um, of course, the links are below for their pouring sets and their resin. And, and um, yeah, um, have fun playing with these paints. They work really well for the tree ring pours and the chain pulls. The, the chain pulls are my absolute favorite with this product. So if you like doing chain pulls, definitely order some of the uh, Classic Colors acrylic pouring set from Gin Crafts because that's like the perfect... It's the perfect consistency for chain pulls. So, um, it works, like I said, it works, uh, works well for the, the tree ring pours as well. Um, okay. So there you are. Thank you very much for everything you've done for my channel and for me. And, and, uh, I hope wherever you are on the planet, you're taking care of each other. You're happy and healthy and wearing your mask in public. Um, and, uh, if you're a new subscriber or a new, new person to my channel, please subscribe. You know, hit that little subscription button below and the little bell so that you guys will know every time I post a video. 
And again, check me out on the Gen Crafts website. Um, they've done a little artist feature on me, so please go check that out and, and let me know that you've you've uh, read it. And it's just a little question and answer about myself as an artist. Um, and I'd love for you to 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 get a get a better sense of me. All right, guys. Wherever you're on the planet, have an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. See you later. Bye.